today's morning minute, ask for nothing. Esther, uh, in Esther, in, in chapter two, verse fifteen, we read: Now, when the turn for Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as his own daughter, had co- had come to go to the king, she required nothing. She required nothing but what Haggai, the king's attendant, the keeper of the women, suggested, and Esther won favor in the sight of all who saw her. Esther was being presented before the king. She was in a beauty contest with many other contestants to become the queen. She could have anything that she wanted to to look beautiful before the king. The custodian of the women at the beauty contest would get anything the contestants wanted or needed. Esther had an opportunity to ask for anything she wanted, yet ask for nothing. Here's the big idea. Esther gained favor in the sight of all who saw her because she submitted to the king's attendant. She did not operate in her own efforts, but came under submission. She asked for nothing but what Haggai, the king's attendant, suggested. We gain favor submitting our mind, will, and emotions to the Holy Spirit living in us. Esther's faith in the God of Israel, the living God, was greater than than the circumstance. Her beauty and confidence in God caused her to to not need anything and be able to submit to the king's attendant. The king's attendant knew best what would please the king. His advice was better than her own emotions, feelings, and thoughts. You can stand before the king of kings and the Lord of lords right now because there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. You've been given the robe of righteousness and the crown of righteousness because of Jesus Christ. There is no shame, fear, or regret. Jesus Christ exchanged all your regret, fear, shame, guilt, condemnation, and self-pity on the cross for his righteousness. You do not need to ask for anything. The favor of the Lord is with you. You are the righteousness in right standing with God in Christ Jesus. God, the creator of the universe and redeemer of all mankind, inspects the Lamb of God, Jesus, and his righteousness, not your flaws and failures. You are the new creation in Christ Jesus. You are gold-plated, gold-plated in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Favor comes when you submit to the authority of the King, the Holy Spirit, living in you. All your needs are met in Christ Jesus. The guidance through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Ask, ask for the Holy Spirit to guide you. Amen and amen.